All right, Coach, win number six of the season, went over St. Joe's. Talk to us a little bit about tonight's game. Oh, I thought it was two horses. I mean, two thoroughbreds, I mean, fighting it out today. I mean, both of them came in with the same ERA. Both of them are really great pitchers. And, but I thought Mason was just a little bit better tonight. So talking about Mason, he matched his career high tonight with 11 punch outs, you know, battled through that late inning. Can you just speak a little bit about his performance this season? I was really impressed. I, I knew the strikeouts were up there, but I was really impressed with this changeup. I mean, that's the best I've seen is changeup. If we can have that to slow some bats down in the future, I think those punch outs are even going to stay right there or even go up a little bit. So your starting arms in general this season have been getting it done for you guys. What's it like heading into a weekend when you know that you have those three to rely on? Well, I think those three have been good. I mean, I think they take seriously of what the ball means here in this program, that when you get the ball, um, you're taking the ball for 34 players on this team. And I think they take it serious. Let's talk a little bit about Cam. He came up flush for you guys tonight, three for four at the plate, two doubles, two ribbies. I mean, he's someone who I think has been a little bit of a surprise to Eagle fans this season, but he's been getting it done. Um, no question. I mean, he. Uh, we were sitting in the office. I was just on the radio, and I said, uh, yeah, they said, what do you think about Cam at second? I said, well, let's give him a call and see how many uh, ground balls he's taken. He said, Coach, I haven't played seconds since Little League. So, but we needed to get another bat in the lineup, and i tell you what, it's probably been one of the best moves we've made, if not the best move we made this year. Awesome. So you guys are still here at home. You know, we talked about how playing at Swanson is special. What sorts of things do you guys need to do to get ready so once this home swing is ready, are done, you're ready to go on the road again. Well, I think we've been tested on the road. Um, when you go to Tulane, who's a real good ball club, and you go play Bethune-Cookman, uh, both ha um, have been on AstroTurf. So, I, I mean, we'll be ready, but we got a lot of work before we get there. I mean, we St. Joe's is a good team. Maris coming in next week in Georgetown. Uh, we're, we're excited to win five of six um, because I think we're headed in the right direction. Um, there's a bump in the road, but but if you told me we're going to win five to six next games, I'd take it in a heartbeat, and I think they would too. So as we're battling back, we're getting better. I think if you see us play, I think you will say uh, they're a much better ball club than they were 10 days ago. And I'm just happy for spring break to be here, and we can do the old-fashioned two-a-days and get some things done and get a little bit better this week. Mason, rumor has it that you have a very strict pregame ritual. Do you always prepare the same way? Is it very timed out? What's the deal there? Yeah, I always start off pretty early. I go an hour and 30 minutes before, try and do all my stretching. I work with John a lot, our trainer, and we have a pregame routine that we always stick to. Do you always have the same mindset going out on the mound no matter who the opponent is? I mean, you've taken on some pretty tough teams so far this season already. Yeah, me and Coach Toe break down a lot of film and do a lot of watching on the hitters and trying to figure out what their weaknesses and strengths are. And we just pretty much attack everyone as best we can. So did you have any idea that you were already up to 11 punch outs tonight? Or what was going through your mind? No, it just happened really fast. It was fun. Uh, they were chasing a high fastball, so that worked. And uh, our pitch co pitching coach did a good job of calling everything. And it was just a good night. You've had a great start to the season, already 3-0, and you know, back and secured your spot as the Friday guy. What sorts of things do you hope to accomplish in your final year of college baseball? I want to keep working hard. i got a really good defense behind me that's been helping me out a lot this year. Um, we're starting to do a little bit better hitting, so that's going to help us out on a Friday night. We've always scored runs for me, so i just got to keep working hard, keep studying film and just doing, it, doing my part because the team's helping me out. All right, so heading into the season, if I had told you you were going to be the starting second baseman, what would you have said to me? You were crazy because I did not think there was any chance I was playing second base. I did, didn't really want to at first, but I mean, it's kind of fun now. So, so what went through your mind that first game at Bethune Cookman when you got the start there? Just make sure I catch the ball and field the ball. Don't try to do anything special. Just, I mean, have fun with it, play loose, and make all my plays. <laughs> so, you've been hitting really well this season three for four tonight, two doubles. Has anything changed in your approach this year? Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that you're a senior, or are you just slow grinding? No, I mean slow grinding, just having fun with it, trying to hit balls hard up back up the middle and just sticking with it, seeing balls up, making sure I'm swinging at strikes and just having fun with it. <laughs> so what, when you're on the base paths, obviously you're a threat. We see pitchers checking you out all the time. What's going through your mind when you're out there? Are you trying to steal? Are you trying to get in good position? Yeah, I'm trying to steal just about every pitch, just trying to time up the pitcher, make sure I get a good, a good jump over at first or second and make sure I'm going to be safe at second and stealing in good, good Hitters counts, I guess. Yeah. So you definitely have one of the larger fan clubs. <laughs>
any of our <laughs> players here. Do you have a message you'd like to give to the fans out there who have been supporting you this season? Oh, they're great. They're great. They come out, keep coming out every game, cheering me on. I love it. Love it. Team loves it. Toe loves it. So, I mean, just keep coming out and cheering us on. <laughs>